Hello everyone! Kumusta kayong lahat? Nandito tayo sa first day ng 2022 Philippine Bike Demo Day. Finally, after two years na wala tayong bike expo na tulad nito ay nandito na ulit tayo. So masaya yung mga kapadyak natin at masaya tayong lahat at nandito na ulit tayo. Nakalabas na ulit tayo at makakakita na ulit tayo ng iba't ibang klase ng mga bike brands na pwede nating mapasyalan at mabisita mamaya. So tara, samahan nyo ako. Tingnan natin kung ano yung mga nandito sa 2022 edition ng Philippine Bike Demo Day. Let's go! Finally, after two years, the most anticipated and the biggest cycling expo in the country was back. I am proud to have been one of its media partners since 2018. But this year's expo, the sixth edition, was by far the best for me. In this video, I'm going to share 10 reasons why the 2022 Philippine Bicycle Demo and Expo was the best since its inception. So stay tuned, coming up! The Philippine Bicycle Demo and Expo was organized by Arnel Andal and Mondi Ong in 2016. From just around 2,000 participants, the annual Bike Expo has grown to be the country's premier cycling event where it connects the Filipino cyclists to the various brands of bikes, spare parts, and accessories in the market today. This event provides an opportunity for the Filipino cyclists to try out the different cycling products in the market before buying it. As I previously mentioned, pang third na bike demo and expo ko na ito. And so far, masasabi ko na ito ang pinakamaganda. I have listed 10 reasons why for me, this year's edition is the best. Let's start. Number 1. The presence of the biggest bike brands. An estimated 95% of bike brands in the country were present. It's a one-stop shop for cyclists. No need to hop from one store or location to another. Halos lahat ng kailangan mo ay nandun na. It's like a Disneyland for cyclists. Number 2. There were more than 250 demo bikes that were made available for testing. From mountain bikes, to road bikes, to gravel bikes, folding bikes, and even e-bikes. Ito yung chance mo na ma-test ride yung mga pinapangarap mo lang ng mga bikes. Number 3. May mega sale din with discounts up to 70% on bikes, gear, and apparel. Talagang bagsak fresh ang mga items dito kaya inaabangan talaga ito ng mga siklista taon-taon. Number 4. The event is a proof of the cycling boom in the Philippines. More cyclists came, no? especially women and children. Dati-rati makikita mo lang talaga noon kalakihan mostly. But this time around, more women and children came. And I think for me, it was a celebration of cycling by the Philippine community amidst the pandemic. Number five, it became a family event. You see, families came even with their pets. Talagang nakakatuwa kasi magkakasama sila naging isang family bonding activity yung bike demo and expo na ito. Before we proceed with the next 5 reasons, please give a like if you enjoy this video. At kung hindi ka pa nang subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let's continue. Number 6. There were lots of raffle prizes and giveaways. Grabe ang daming bikes ang pinamigay, pati mga spare parts, accessories and apparel. At ang grand prize ay dalawang Insta360 cameras. Saan ka pa? Custodio! Edward Custodio! Please! Please love! Edward Custodio! Parang may balat ang bike! Ayaw ko na! Number 7 There were lots of cycling content creators and cycling celebrities. Both mga video creator at saka mga photographers na kinikilala natin 
at uh, sikat ngayon sa cycling community dito sa Pilipinas. And for me, it's good for the community because more content is better for the cycling community kasi mas marami tayong napapanood, mas marami tayong nakikita, mas marami tayong natututunan. Ang nakakatuwa pa, even content creators from other niches or other industries were around. Shout out pala kay Captain JC Rage na one of the YouTubers I follow na isa rin siyang siklista. Finally, nakita ko siya ng personal. Isa siyang pilot at kung mahili kayo sa mga aviation videos, check out his channel. Lalagay ko na lang sa description yung link. Number 8 is the presence of new bike brands, especially local brands. At for me, now the more local brands that we see in the market is a good indicator of the growing cycling culture in the country. So, ibig sabihin talagang booming ngayon ang cycling sa Pilipinas. Number nine, there were more e-bike companies and brands. Now, it's really a proof that the future of cycling is electric. Ilang ulit ko nang sinasabi ito that the future of cycling is electric. And the presence of more e-bike companies is a proof of that. And finally, number 10. Yung event na ito ay hindi lang siya expo ng mga bike brands. It was also an educational event because educational talks about cycling advocacies were also offered. In fact, I was invited to share about bike commuting and safety. I'd like to introduce you a dear friend, hey, hello. a popular hello. blogger, an influencer, an all-around good guy, my puso, Mr. My puso, Carlo P. Carlon. Thank you, Sir Arnel. Uh, good morning, everyone. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Two years ago, I never could have imagined that I would create a two-wheel solution to mobility problems brought about by the pandemic. So maraming salamat sa organizers for inviting me to share my experiences in bike commuting. On a personal note, I was surprised and was really honored when I was given an award as a pandemic cycling hero for my role in organizing the Lend a Bike project during the pandemic. This guy started and created Lend a Bike Project. The Lend a Bike Project. And uh, it has touched the hearts of the organizers of Philippine Bicycle Demo Expo and the hearts of a lot of medical frontliners whom he helped. Because what he did was he, ano eh, during the pandemic, yung mga walang masakyan, dahil walang masasakyan, walang public transportation, he matched them with people who were willing to lend their bicycles to them. Mga, mga so, nurse, mga doktor na walang means to get to the hospital o mga frontline, mga polis. So they, nagpahiram siya ng mga bike. Nagkawa siya ng sistema ng community na magpapahiram ng bisikleta. Called the Lend a Bike. Sa mga frontliners sa to. In this plaque of recognition for the pandemic cycling hero is presented to our good friend Carlo P. Carlon, the psychologist, come up, brother, for his tireless efforts to help the underprivileged <laughs> and the frontliners with the Lenda Bike Project. Yan, parangal ng Philippine Bicycle Demo Expo Group, sa isang magiting na kaibigan ng siklista, na mismo siklista rin, na nag-aalaga sa mga frontliners during the pandemic. Thank you very much oh, for your kind Salamat sa iyo, Carlo P. Carlon, the psychologist for being our pandemic cycling hero issued today and recognized forever. Only here at the Bike Demo Day 2022. Palapaka po natin siya. Thank you very much for this recognition. Pero I would just like actually to share this with the many volunteers who lend their bikes to our frontliners. Uh, ginamit lang po akong instrumento para gawin yon. Kasama dito, yun, isang kaibigan ko, si Ayo Santiago. There you go. Siya yung kaibigan ko na, halika Ayo rito, siya yung nagbutol sa akin actually na gawin yun. 
siya yung may idea. Um, so maraming salamat dun sa mga tumulong, sa mga volunteers na tumulong para ma-organize namin yung Let the Bike Project. At, uh, at maraming salamat, baka ilang din sa inyo rito ay mga nagpahiram ng mga bikes nila. Uh, more than 400 na uh, bikes ang naipahiram at naipamigay natin sa mga hospitals and institutions. So maraming salamat. Hindi po lang ito sa akin, para sa atin lahat sa cycling community. Maraming salamat sa organizers ng Philippine Bicycle Demo and Expo for the recognition. I share it with the volunteers and lenders of the bike sharing project. Kung hindi sa kanila ay hindi natin nagagawa ang project na yun. So those are the 10 reasons why I consider the 2022 Philippine Bicycle Demo and Expo as the best so far since it was organized. How about you? Anong favorite part mo ng event na ito? Share mo sa amin ang experience mo. Sulat lang sa comment section ng video na ito. With the success of this year's event, we are looking forward to more of this in the coming years. Again, congratulations to the organizers of the Expo. Kung gusto ninyong mapanood ang mga previous editions ng event na ito, ay may ginawa akong videos ng 2018 at 2019 na version nito. Click nyo na lang ang link na makikita nyo sa screens ninyo. So, thank you for watching. This is The Psychologist and as always, I will see you next time. Bye guys!